Day 135 of the war in Gaza, the IDF is finalizing plans to move on to Rafah. The plans will be considered by the war cabinet for approval. And just over the border in Egyptian Sinai, the Egyptian army is building a walled encampment for a potential flood of Gazan residents attempting to break into Egypt to escape the advancing Israeli operation. LTV Steve Leibovich has more. Day 135 of the war in Gaza, and even after the defeat of organized Hamas brigades in northern and central Gaza, IDF forces are confronting Hamas gunmen operating in small cells. Dozens were killed over the weekend, including a Hamas operative in the Sheikh Radwan neighborhood in Gaza City, only minutes after he launched a rocket at Ashkelon. The rocket was intercepted by Iron Dome Air Defense. Meanwhile, all eyes are on the potential IDF entry into Rafah on the Egyptian border. The city has four remaining Hamas brigades and includes some 1.3 million residents, mostly displaced from other areas of Gaza. The IDF is due to present the War Cabinet with detailed plans for entering Rafah. The plan reportedly provides for relocating residents to other parts of south and central Gaza, but not to the north of the Strip. Defense Minister Gallant and War Cabinet Minister Benny Gantz have indicated that if there is no hostage deal reached by Ramadan, which begins around March 10th, the IDF should go into Rafah. Prime Minister Netanyahu said those saying not to enter Rafah want Israel to lose the war. <laughs> מי שרוצה למנוע מאיתנו לפעול ברפיח, בעצם אומר לנו, תפסידו במלחמה. אני לא אתן לזה יד. The U.S. is saying it wants to see the Israeli plan in advance. Okay, without that credible plan, a, a, a major operation in Rafa would be a disaster. We, 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 we agree with that. And we're continuing to talk to our Israeli counterparts about what that plan might look like. Egypt is taking the expected Israeli advance into Rafah seriously, concerned that Gazans may flee into the Egyptian Sinai. Egypt is building a walled enclosure. Egyptian officials told the Wall Street Journal that the enclosed 20-square-kilometer site could house over 100,000 people, as Cairo makes contingency plans ahead of a possible Israeli operation in Gaza's southernmost city. Egypt is concerned that an Israeli operation in Rafah could lead to masses of Palestinians attempting to break through the border and take shelter in Egyptian territory. Egyptian officials said that Palestinians would be barred from leaving the area, which is not close to any Egyptian towns, unless leaving for another country. The possibility of a military operation in, Russia, in, in, in Rafah, with the possibility of the crossing closing down, with the possibility of spillover, um, the, the sort of the Egyptian nightmare, if you like, in a sense, um, is one that is right before our eyes with Ramadan looming. Over the weekend, Prime Minister Netanyahu pledged to provide safe passage for civilians out of Rafah without specifying where the large number of people massed near the border with Egypt would go.